Greetings, and welcome to the inaugural developer blog for Battlecry of Freedom's upcoming 2.0 patch. In today's video, we will dive deep into the graphical and FPS enhancements that we have made to Battlecry of Freedom. Our primary objective for the graphical updates was to enhance the game's visuals while simultaneously improving its performance, particularly in scenarios where there are multiple characters on screen, such as AI soldiers or players. In achieving this, we placed a strong emphasis on making updates in a non-destructive manner, so that no existing maps would require modifications. It was essential to us that player-made maps continue to function seamlessly and that the gameplay on these maps is not affected by the graphical changes. To accomplish this, we primarily focused on upgrading the existing shaders and post-processing effects in the game. We completely rewrote the game's lighting system upgrading our shadows, and implementing a new way of handling ambient lighting and occlusion. The new lighting is most noticeable in the profile creation screen, with shadows on players' foreheads no longer clipping and creating very visible banding artifacts. We also introduced a new terrain shader, which features physically accurate reflections and high-resolution tessellation and parallax mapping. This increases the visual contrast between different terrain textures and realism due to higher perceived depth on a per-texture basis. The new terrain shaders enable players to edit terrains together on a server, even while players are playing on it. Any terrain change will be live synced to all players, and the terrain will be updated in real time. Event hosts may also use the terrain tool to edit randomly generated maps while on server which could help level the playing field for teams that would otherwise have an unfair advantage. These new possibilities greatly speed up the map creation process and offer endless new opportunities for map creators and players alike. One of the most noticeable changes between the current version and the 2.0 patch is the upgraded flora. Using a new flora shading technique, we are now able to accurately model subsurface scattering on grass and trees, allowing sunlight to illuminate leaves and blades of grass from behind. The new grass also has superior specular reflections and normal maps, which were missing in the previous version. Other advanced features include grass bending when players, horses, or cannons move over it, grass cutting, and more. Additionally, any large explosion, such as shells bursting or cannons firing, will cause the grass and trees to shake from the force of the shockwave. In addition to improvements to terrain and grass, we have also upgraded many of the game's particle effects. The musket and cannon smoke should now appear thicker and last slightly longer, while not affecting the game's performance. We have also upgraded the camera system in the game. Explosions and cannonball impacts now cause the screen to shake violently, depending on the intensity of the explosion, as well as the direction and distance to it. This not only adds to the immersion, but also helps inform players of where an explosion occurred and how far away it is. Furthermore, the camera movement has been smoothed out, as easily demonstrated in the profile screen where the camera now smoothly moves between different positions, rather than abruptly snapping to them. That concludes this week's developer blog. Be sure to check back for our next developer blog where we will dive deeper into the new gameplay additions coming to Battlecry of Freedom.